Hey YouTube, it's the Cousin Dan again. In my last video, I mentioned that soon I was going to get married. Well, I did it. And actually, this video has a little bit to do with that. For Christmas, I bought then my fiance, now wife, a Google Chromecast. A Google Chromecast is basically a small device that you plug into the HDMI port on your TV, and then you plug the USB port into any USB 5.0 power outlet, whether that's on the TV itself or in the power adapter that comes in the box that the Chromecast comes in. It's basically a small device that you can connect to with your phone, on YouTube, on Netflix, on anything that does media, music, whatever, Pandora, Google Play uh, Music, all that stuff. And it broadcasts that through the help of your in-home Wi-Fi onto your TV and your sound system. Sounds pretty awesome, right? Well, sometimes the port on the router or the router modem combo that you use does not offer support for this kind of activity. I'm going to show you in some screenshots now how you can fix that because it's kind of a pain if you can. And I found out online after searching some forums that a lot of people are having this problem so I decided to make a video about it. So here's how you fix that problem at least from the perspective that I had when that problem made itself known to me. First off, as a disclaimer, this may not work for every modem ever created, but this is a good shot for most. Open up your browser, in this case I have Chrome. In your address bar, type 10.0.0.1, enter. In this case, it pulls up the Xfinity login page. They're all going to look relatively the same. My password is, uh, is custom here, but the password is probably going to be actually the word password, and your username is going to be admin. So I'm going to type in my set password and then I get the control panel. Click on Advanced, click on Device Discovery, make sure that UPnP is enabled and Enable Zero Config is enabled. Press Save when that page loads up, X out, and you're done. And that's it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to message me. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible, but thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to The Cousin Dan.